Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to use the dome, half dome, for paperweight again. But this one's got a bit of a story. Um, we built this uh, bungalow over 30 years ago. And um, my auntie, which um, was more of a best friend than anything else, uh, she taught me such a lot of things from dressmaking. That's where mostly my craft has gone from. And when we moved here, she put a plant in the garden. And uh, every year it comes out in full bloom. It's beautiful. And so I want to preserve one of the flowers. Um, you know, it's something, it's a keepsake. In other words, just in case any time it does die. Um, it's been going for over 30 years, so I'm hoping it'll still keep going. So I'm going to be using um, the resin again, which is this one. That's, let's get it the right way around, the A and the B. And it's equal parts of um, the hardener and the resin. Uh, I'm going to do it in two parts. So that I can put the, um, I will tell you when I think of it, put that down to my age, uh, what, the, what the flower is. Uh, I'm sure it begins with a P. Anyway, I'm going to do about three quarters of um, the resin so that I can do like um, a silver bottom. So I shall do that, like I say, and it'll dry. So I'm going to mix my resin, then I'll be back. So here's the peony, <laughs> that's the name of it. Here's the peony that I've just cut off. I mean, look at this, how healthy. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping, even if it changes colour, so I've got the windows open because of the resin, um, that it will preserve. If the colour fades, then the flower is still there. So I'll start and I'll be back in a minute. Well, hi everyone. This was um, my auntie's flower. I am disappointed, really, <clears throat> because it's gone from a beautiful red to it looks like a green. Because I don't like dried flowers. They always look, I don't know, um, they look dried. Look as if there's no life in them. But, as you can see, it hasn't really worked. But, until I turn it out, I'm not sure. So, I've uh, mixed some more resin. And I'm going to put um, some more <laughs> glitter in. As I do. Because I don't think there's... Um, I'm hoping there's no acrylic in this. So, I'll put some in here. Hoping that it will uh, give at least the base a bit of a sparkle. So we'll uh, I just move that up. I don't know whether it will need a bit of a colour in as well. 
Um, I put pearl in, didn't I, last time? So I think I'll put a drop of the pearl. Just colour it up a little bit so you don't see the um, stalk. Put a little bit more in. <clears throat> what I will say, this um, resin is uh, even children can use it. It's non-toxic, no fumes, no volatile or something and something. It's quite quite good really and quite reasonable. I had it from um, hmm, Amazon. So I think I've stirred that in long enough. Let's see what happens now. Like I say I'm not quite sure. Um, I made a bit of a mess last time as you saw but way hey. So we're gonna pour this now on the top like I say I uh, measured everything with water and you see there's nothing in there now and I've said before, you've got to make sure that it's level, like so. So this is going to be left now again overnight and uh, we'll see what happens then. See you then. Well, hi everyone, I'm back with um, the um, flower that I did of my auntie's. Um, I could tell because... Um, as you saw when I did the just half of it or three quarters of it, it was changing. It went from a red to a purple. And I don't really know what colour that's come out like. So we shall find out. It is totally dry now. I will see what happens when I uh, take it out. I'm hoping not to be too disappointed because it's something I want to keep just in case anything happens to the the flower. These things aren't easy to get out. <laughs> Once they're in, they're in. So I just pull on this. <laughs> they are so bumming strong. There we go. Now you see, clean as whistle. I'm really pleased with that uh, resin that I'm using. Um, there's no smell with it, and it's for children. Children can use it. So when you, you know, I mean, I've got the windows open because it's it's nice weather. But it's nice when you can um, use it and not think, oh God, it's going to affect my chest or give me a headache or I'm dreading this. Look how it's gone. My favourite flower. And like I say, I don't like um, dried flowers. They look brittle and, you know, but it's such a shame. But there again, I've still got it and it's lovely. Lovely and smooth. And uh, the base come out quite well with the, uh, with the glitter. So... Like I say, I'm learning and uh, I've got this forever now, even though it isn't the same colour. Um, never mind. We tried. Well, I hope you've enjoyed me doing this one and hearing the little story behind the flower. And um, 
I will see what, uh, it seems as if the yellow ones seem to come out better, I don't know, than red. It must be pigment in it, I don't know. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, watching the mistake as a flower. Um, but, never mind. Well, thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and hopefully see you in my next. Bye!